is the bombardment of Rotterdam. During that night you heard the planes from the Germans come. And we knew that the war started. It was a terrible moment. And they came creeping over the railway in our garden that morning, the 10th of May. I'll never forget that. They stole everything. They knew every place where you had been hiding the thing. You, you can't imagine when you come home and nothing is left. My father was a children's doctor. He loved art. He loved beautiful things. Uh, the Ochterfeld was born in 35, I think. I remember that my father was very fond of it. I loved the painting, but I was 15. I thought the man was very nice, the way he gave the food to the girl. In 40, the Germans came in and we didn't know what would happen. They wanted to take over the hospital. And my father, he didn't do what they wanted to do, so he came on the list to be taken prisoner. So one morning, I think it was 43, the SD rang at our door and I opened it and they asked, and there were horrible people, black coats, black hats. I never forget that man. Where's your father? We want your father. I said, well, my father's with the patient. I have no idea. Thank God he wasn't at home. So they didn't get him. He took his bike and went away. But before he went away, he had a friend and he said, well, he gave you precious paintings to me. We'll put them in the safe and nothing will happen. By late 1944, British airborne troops were dropped into Arnhem, and this was called Operation Market Garden. It's very famously known through a film called A Bridge Too Far. 75% of the British troops died, but the people of Arnhem also suffered because the Germans thought that they had been helping the Allies. We had to leave everything behind, and if you were still there, you would be shot, so we had to go. When we came home after eight months, all was stolen. They had found everything. You wouldn't believe what the Germans did. The oyster meal was um, stolen from the safe of the Amsterdam Bank in Arnhem. Temmler did it all. He shouldn't have taken it out of the safes of the bank. So that man was put in jail. The orders were not to loot the banks, but this man called Helmut Temmler had quite a reputation for being rather effective at plundering art. We found this extraordinary letter from Himmler, who after all was responsible for the murder of millions of people and had done terrible things. Himmler was complaining about the shamelessness of this man Temmler, that he was bringing the party, the Nazi party, into disrepute. My father, who loved all his uh, beautiful things, after all, out of his head, made a list of six missing uh, paintings. Well, the family came to us in 2015 and said that they had a number of missing paintings from the war, and one of them was an oyster meal by uh, Ochterveld, and could we help them find it? Her father had an absolutely extraordinary visual memory because we had, by then, the documents showing his descriptions of the paintings that he'd lost, and they were amazing, they were so detailed. What we had learned was that there was a painting which matched the description in the Mansion House, which is the residence of the Lord Mayor of London. So we arranged a visit for her to the Mansion House to have a look at the painting. And she came in and went straight to the painting and said, oh, it's definitely the same painting, this is the painting. I recognised it immediately. It is very moving, to be honest, yeah. I was very happy to see it back and yeah, I feel at home here now that our painting is hanging here on a white wall like it was hanging in my father's wedding room. It's beautiful. I'm very lucky that I may live to that.